How to read a ruler. Your ruler shouldn't be used only to draw a straight line. Make sense of all those little lines and take advantage of its intended use. You will need a ruler and a calculator. Step one, pick a side to use for your measurement. One side measures 30 centimeters and the other side of the ruler measures 12 inches. Step two, multiply centimeters by 10 to calculate millimeters. For example, 1.2 centimeters equals 12 millimeters. Centimeters are the longer marks on the metric side of the ruler. Millimeters are the shorter marks. Step three, recognize the different line lengths on the English side of the ruler. The inch line is the longest line with the number next to it. The shorter lines represent fractions of an inch. Step four, identify the other 15 lines. They decrease in size from half an inch to one fourth of an inch, all the way down to one sixteenth of an inch. Some rulers display measurements down to one sixty fourth of an inch. Step five, Convert the fractions into decimals using a calculator. Divide the fraction of the inch and then add the whole number. The English side is more complicated than the metric side, since there are 12 inches in a foot, rather than the increments of 10 used on the metric side. But once you have mastered the conversions, you can use your knowledge to measure just about any length. Did you know? The first recorded unit of measurement was the cubit, developed by the Egyptians. The cubit was the length from a man's elbow to the end of his middle finger, about 20.6 inches.